Hi Amanda here from ScreenPeerMommy.co.uk So today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful beautiful gift that you could give somebody for Christmas You could sell them on your craft stalls um, Probably once you've made it you'll just want to keep it for yourself So we're starting off with two pieces of cardstock Now this is craft cardstock from my private crafter hoard stroke collection um, so if you can't get hold of craft card you can use any card it doesn't have to be this card or alternatively you could use crumb cake which is the closest stamping up colour to craft all right so these two both measure seven and a half by seven and a quarter so what we're going to do is we are going to score on the seven and a half inch side first and we're going to score at seven eighths of an inch let me just get that straight seven eighths of an inch and six and five eighths which is there and then we're going to turn it on the short side which is the seven and a quarter side we're going to score again at seven eighths of an inch okay and then we're going to score at six and three eighths this time so one two three six and three eighths all right so i can go through those measurements with you one more time because i have two so on the long side which is seven and a half do check the long is seven and a half and then if you look the shorter one is obviously shorter at seven and a quarter so on the long side seven eighths of an inch and six and five eighths Turn it to the short side, which is seven and a quarter. We're scoring again at seven eighths of an inch. I'm having to hold mine quite firm because I've got a glass mat. It's slipping all over because I think the feet have gone missing on the bottom of my scoreboard. Seven eighths of an inch, then six and three eighths. Okay, so we've got two pieces exactly the same. All right, so let me just move my scoreboard out of the way and bring in the burn folder so what we're going to do is we're going to um, fold and burnish all of those scar lines on both pieces okay that's that one and we'll do this one created my box in two parts the reason being that I needed a size that wouldn't fit on a 12 by 12 now you might think oh well that's wasting card okay because I'm using effectively two A4 sheets but the card that you're going to have left over is going to be this size which is a lovely lovely size for making things that can go with the beautiful item we're going to put inside which is going to be a journal so with these off cuts you could make some lovely tags page turners anything um to go with your journal so these won't get wasted all right so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to just on take one piece and on the long side so that's the long side let me just check which is the long side so I don't get it wrong that's the short side seven and a quarter seven and a half so that's the long side so on the long side okay I'm lining them up like that and I'm just going to quickly mark one with a pencil so I know that's the top okay well what we're going to do is we are going to cut away these two small squares here first all right so I'm cutting just inside the score line there and I'm just cutting at a slight angle to notch that away okay and cut that away and then we're going to do the same at that side so I'm just slight I'm not going straight I'm just going at a slight angle towards the corner of there and then I'm going to cut that away and I'm cutting it to the far side of the scar line so we've got none of that bulk left okay and then this strip here we're going to attach to here all right so that we've got one long continuous piece and that is our first step so I am using a red line tape um, I've said lots and lots of times before just search for it on whatever medium you buy some of your things on unfortunately it's one of those things that the fantastic stamping up doesn't do 
and sometimes I just really really like very very strong tape so I'm putting one line on and then I'm removing the tab and then I'm going to put another line on because I want that to be super strong now the benefit of doing it this way in two pieces is that this back panel here is going to be really strong because it's been doubled up if you want to double over your side panels add an extra seven eighths of an inch on all the way around and scar it twice and fold it in um, but I didn't want all of that um, chunky bulk don't always want it so now I'm going to line my two pieces up to the nice and straight and I'm going to attach that onto that one very carefully so that I've got one long continuous piece okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these tabs here and these tabs here so the little squares are tabs so you cut those to the far side of the score line straight and then on the square side you notch it gently and then you just do that all the way around so to the far left of the score line here but straight and then on the square bit that's where you notch okay okay let's speed that up so you do the same here so there to the far side of the score line notch it out and it's going to be kind of like an all-in-one pizza style box and you can make these the super easy really really easy to make I love them uh, and then I'm going to show you the fantastic journal that I'm going to put inside and I'm going to show you how you can make a beautiful gift and I'm going to show you how to decorate it right Alright, so then you want adhesive on all of your tabs. Okay, okay. And one thing you want to do now is decide which is going to be your lid and which is going to be your bottom. Now they're both the same, so you could have that as your lid or that as your lid. Whichever, decide which is which. And whichever is your lid, you want to put a little notch in. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing it, really. Centre. Just a little thumb notch. About there. If it's not quite in the middle, I'm not that bothered. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm adding red line tape to all of the little squares. Okay. You can fast forward this part if you want. That's fine, but I'm not um, fast forwarding my video because I'm not very good at doing it. The builders have gone, yay! <laughs> I can craft in peace and quiet again. <laughs> I know some of my ladies who are regular viewers did comment to say that they couldn't actually hear any background noise. So that was a big relief. So thank you to those lovely ladies who left those comments. I do appreciate it because, you know, it's a bit of a worry um, getting the lighting and the, the volume. And goodness me, it's a bit of a... It can be, you know, a bit of a nightmare. Maybe when I'm a million dollar achiever and I've got a million subscribers, I'll have like a little team here doing all my filming for me. <laughs> I think to get a million subscribers, what I need to do is stop doing stamping up and start opening Kinder Eggs because those children have got the most subscribers ever. <laughs> Say, I mean, wrong job. Right, so we're removing this tape. Um, I had awesome fun thinking up this idea and, and designing and thinking what I was going to do. But as always, my plans only go so far and then the rest of it, you know, is kind of me creating on the hop, as it were. I haven't notched that. Because I, I can't, I don't think you can plan creativity. <laughs> and I genuinely do. Um, like to do some of it as I'm going and see what happens doesn't always work sometimes it looks pants but that's genuine creating for you right so now all you want to do is you want to put all of these um, tabs to a solid side so you measure up and you're measuring up on the edges there you're measuring these two edges you're lining those edges up Forget about these because they've been notched and they're wonky, so you're not lining those up, you're lining those up. Alrighty. Uh, 
I'll we'll have that one on the inside. And then these bottom tabs here you want to go on the on what's going to be the, the base of your box. Okay, and then that will be the lid. I think I've done that right. I might have done it the wrong way around, but do you know what? The way this box is designed, it doesn't really matter which is the top and which is the bottom because they're both the same. So, you know, I think I've done it so that that fits in like so. Does it? So it will all go together like so. And we've got the little thumb notch. And it's a nice, it is a snug fit. Okay, it is quite a snug fit, I will say. But you could have it that way as well if you don't like it to be too snug. That way is slightly less snug, but I don't like them flappy bits there. So mine will go the other way and I will have it super snug. Okay, so that's my box. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to really quickly um, I'll just put my box together and then we'll decorate the box and then we'll bring in the journal. So to decorate the box, what I've done off camera is I have embossed a piece of very vanilla and I've used the Scripte stamp. That's awesome, I love it. Um, I've got some paper here and I have pre-made a flower using the Floral Essences Stamp Set and Punch. Um, so I've laid them up. You've seen me make these before. I've got other videos making them. I've just made a flower. I've got uh, one, two, four layers there so that it's nice. Um, I've used Rocco Rose and Rich Razzleberry ink and then I've gone over it with some Winker Stella. So I'll just bob that to one side because it's still a little bit wet. So what I'm going to do first of all is I am doing some inking. And this is some Distress Ink from my personal collection, which I love. And it's called Victorian Velvet. Okay. And I'm just going to, I just want to ink the edge of my box. All the way around. I like mixing and matching my Stampin' Up! products. And I like to be able to know that I can mix and match them with other crafty products that I've got in my collection. And when I um, use everything all at once, that is when I'm the most happy. Um, I do love my Stampin' Up! Um, and I love some of my other products as well. Um, so I will use them, you know, they can, they can go together. You don't have to have one or the other. You can have a collection and um, use them all in combination. That's what I do. All right. I'm going to go inside my box. You could do this. If you had half a brain, you'd do this before you put it together. But, you know, I like to make things difficult for myself. <laughs> That's because my mind, my brain works faster than my reasoning sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gents, do your inking before you construct your box. You will find it much easier. Blimey. Right. But, you know, same results. It's fine. Right, so that's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Go over this script. This is why I love this um, embossing fold. Look at that. You just rub a little bit of ink over it and it just fully brings it to life. That is just amazing. I love it. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Right, I'll do it all, but I don't know. I, I know I'm going to whip it up. You know I am. And let me get some glue. And some other glue in case I run out. And I just took that inside there again for a minute. Okay, and then let's start and um, decorate this box. So the box is about there. Okay. About there, roughly. Let's just get some ripping. Um, on here and um, this is where I have the most fun in the decorating of things I really really enjoy it um, I think decorating making a box and decorating it 
It's just about the most fun you can have without a bottle of vodka or a bar of chocolate, <laughs> whichever, whichever you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to just rip some more off of there. And there's never any rhyme or reason to how you do this. You just do it to make it fit your what you want, basically. So I'm just inking that around the edges. I'm going for a shabby vintage look. So I want it nice and... I quite like the midges curled up like that. A little bit more there. So let's have a look. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that curled there. I'm going to get that glued onto my box. Plenty on. Okay. There we go. Give that chance to adhere and dry on. And whilst that's drying, let's get another piece. Um, we're layering up here. Um, I'm just going to rip it. Alright, let's have a look. And we'll rip that bit there. And we'll rip. In fact, we don't need to rip that bit because I know what I'm going to do there in a minute. No, I will. I will rip it. I may well put another layer on yet. And again, I'm using my ink. You can use any ink you want to um, ink the edges of things. This is just my favourite when I'm doing shabby vintage style projects. Um, if I was going to use a Stampin' Up ink, I might use Crumb Cake or I might use Blushing Brides quite nice and subtle or I might use, um, what else might I use? I might use Rich Razzleberry but I'd have to be very not very heavy handed with it. Right, so now I'm going to glue that on there. I want some more layering. Here, I'm going to have some of this garden paper. I want it a bit longer than that. Alright, so let's have a look because I want it right up to there. Okay. And I am literally just ripping this paper for a nice, fun, distressed, edged look to go with my beautiful vintage style. <laughs> journal i can't wait to show you the journal it's awesome um and the reason being that most of the work has been done for me by stamping up because it's a pre uh, kind of like a pre-made journal that you can use that you can decorate you can add on um and ultimately you can it's a great gift to give or not as the case may be if you want to keep it for your own self Right, so I'm going to glue that on there now. Speed it up a bit. Okay, so, and it's just about layering. Ripping and layering, ripping and layering. And it's awesome fun and it'll look great when it's done. And when you have done, you could top the box with something like a PVA sealer, like Mod Podge or something like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of it because I think it leaves things sticky. That could be just me, I don't know, but, you know, there's other kinds of sealers that you can get to stop the box from getting um, spoiled or wet or whatever. Um, I shan't probably bother with, with all that. Okay, lay that on there. You can still see all of that lovely script writing there. I've got some washi tape somewhere. Let's have some of that on. There we go. We'll have some of the washi tape if I can find the end of it. And this is from the all from the pressed petal suite. If you're looking for it, I'll leave everything over on my blog. I kind of find the end of this. It's like looking for cellar tape on Christmas Eve when you're tired. Right. So I'm going to just add some of that on there. For a bit of fun, is that upside down? Don't really think it matters if I'm honest. 
if it's upside down or not. I'll stick that on there like so. We've got that nice layered look and then I'm going to add my flower just right there in the corner. Okay, so there we go. Put my flower there and that's there ready. Um, I did want to stamp like a just for you or something sentiment there and I have pre-cut a shape somewhere but I can't find it, I don't know what I've done with it. So I might add it for the thumbnail, um, I might add it for the thumbnail but for now I've lost it. Where's it gone? Just holding this while it dries a minute, while I search for this um, element that I seem to have lost, it's here. I knew I had them. Right, so let's see if I can just get that to stick for one moment. Let me just quickly see if I can grab something that says something nice on it. Um, let's have a look, what have we got? Ooh, I we'll love that. Well, that's it. Let's see if that'll fit. Right, so I'm holding that. That's drying. I'm going to leave that to dry for now. I've just grabbed, literally grabbed a stamp set off of the side of my desk. It happens to be Days and Learn. I quite like that Friend stamp and I quite like Smile. Um, I'm going to try Friend. Alright, and I'm going to use... Shall I have Rich Razzleberry? Why not? So let's mount that on a block and try and get it straight. Now I have cut two in case I don't stamp one straight. We'll see how it goes. Let me try on this piece of scrap. I don't think that's straight, is it? Let's try again. Let me see if that's straight before I commit to my die cut element. And I've die cut them from the Stitch Nested Label dies. Um, which I've actually borrowed from my friend Victoria. She lent them me the other day. <laughs> That's the good thing about having team members that live in the same town as me. I can borrow their stuff and they borrow my stuff. <laughs> there we go, friend. I'm happy with that now. So I'll just grab some dimensionals. And we'll get that loaded on. And then we can get on to doing the journal Okay, right. my desk's a hot mess, but that's how it should be when you are <laughs> in the throngs of creating. Right, so that is still not f fully dry. I'm not happy with that flower. I'm just going to stick that there. It just needs to dry because I've used that um, not very good glue. Instead of just, I don't know why I didn't just use Tombow, but that's our decorated box. So now we're going to line it with our beautiful journal. So this is the pressed petals journal. Let me just leave that there to dry a moment. So this is the pressed petals journal. It comes ready bound. The cover's embossed there and it's craft, which is why I've chosen craft for there. And it's got these beautiful, beautiful pages. Just look at them. You know, some have got uh, like the stamped images, we've got quotes, we've got um, vintage looking script. It's a lovely little mini journal. It's not huge, it's only, let me measure it for you. It's not massive, it measures five and a half by about four and three quarters so it's just a nice size maybe a little um, thoughts for the day journal or a prayer journal or anything and it's just a nice little thing it really is love like you can add to it so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one of my this is like what I put on my journals and um, just little paper clips and you can add little tickets and memorabilia then to things like that okay uh, and I'll just stick a little ticket there just as an example of what you can do you know you can add things to it you could put little gift tag uh, 
handmade tags in with your leftover cardstock. I'm not going to go into making them all today because I'll be here forever. So now we're just going to decorate the front. What did, was I decorating the front with? I think I was decorating it like I was going to decorate that box and now I've never still my stuff. <laughs> So we're going to decorate it really minimal because I've gone to town on the box. So very similar to what I've done on the box, you could do on the journal, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip up some, just some like rectangles. Let me just try and get it somewhat like, I want it random but not random at the same time. I know what I mean. Okay. Right, so that's that. that, that's fine, that will do for me. So I'll get that inked up. And then I've got just a little word there. Um, you could use the word journal or prayers or you could, you know, anything you want. Um, ideas, memories. And what you can now, this, the word that I'm going to use is one that I've gotten from a, a journal kit seller somewhere. I can't remember who's it from now. Um, but, you know, you can do these on your computer. You can, if you've got letter stamps, you can stamp them out. You can do all sorts. This has method in my madness. <laughs> Which just about sums me up, doesn't it? <laughs> Those of you that know me. I think that's pretty much on point. <laughs> There's always method in my madness. So I'm going to put that on there, raised up like that and layered onto there. Now I've done a, a little fancy ribbon tie on the edge of my ring binders there. And this is just a collection of some of the Stampin' Up! ribbons. I'm even in shop. Let me zoom out. Collection of some of the Stampin' Up! ribbons, they're absolutely beautiful. We've got the dotted tulle, we've got the lace, we've got the ruffled um, ribbon there, we've got the lovely woven ribbon there. The Stampin' Up! ribbons are beautiful and they are very good quality as well. So we've got my little tag there, what else have I got? And then I've got these that my lovely friend made me, um, just little dangles and charms. You know, you can really just make them your own and have some fun with it. I'm going to stick that on there, I think, like so. Alright, and then that will dangle down there like that, um, like so. And we've got my little charm there. I think I want some more washi tape. I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> I think I'm just going to see if I can lift that up. I just want some washi tape under there for some reason. I don't know why my mind's telling me that I want washi tape there, but I just do. Okay. Simple as that. I just do. So there we go. And then what you can do then, obviously, is... Now what I would do and what I will go away and look for when I've done is I will look for some tissue paper because what you can do is you can stamp tissue paper. So I might stamp it with some of the lovely flowers. That's still, that glue just hasn't taken, has it? So let's get rid of that and use good old Tombow because I know that that will work. I don't know why I used that other glue. I don't know why I thought it would dry faster, but there you go. Good old Tombow. I'm just, that I'm using it sparingly because it's, for some reason, hard to get a hold of in Europe. Right, so, and I've stuck that on the wrong way. <laughs> so, so we're having a side opening box. <laughs> because I've stuck everything on the wrong way. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And now my... <laughs> and now my beautiful journal will fit inside this lovely custom-made box, okay, which is a side-closing box. <laughs> it's a side-closing box. Then what you can do then is you can just go that little bit further if you want and add some ribbon to close. Um, does that necessary? I don't really think it's necessary. I think, no, I'm not going to bother with it. I could have it that way, couldn't I? I'll have it that way because I do like this ribbon and I do want to get it used. So let's go. Uh, 
and let's tie that on there just for that you know if it's a gift and you've got some lovely stuff get it used why not tie that there and just tying it in like and just in like a knot I'm not doing a bow I don't feel emotionally capable of doing one today <laughs> I'm not emotionally ready to do a bow today. So there we go. And we've got our beauty. That is absolutely lovely. I would be thrilled to receive that as a gift. Um, so there you go. Go and give it a try. So that is our lovely box. And then we're sliding the ribbon off. And we're going to pretend that it was meant to be a side opening box all along. That's how it was meant to be. And then inside we've got our beautiful journal ready to go i hope you like that i hope you'll give it a try and leave all the details all the scoring and whatnot and everything over on my blog at squimpymummy.co.uk give it a try bye for now